Shomo News presents Hyperloops and High Speed Trains. All aboard! India's old school railroad system is about to get one hell of a boost as the country begins its high speed rail project with a little help from the Japanese. India has begun construction on its first Japanese bullet train line, which will stretch 508 kilometers from the city of Amenabad to the financial center of Mumbai on the country's western coast. The line is expected to be finished by 2023 and will cut travel time between the two cities down to three hours from the current eight. The new train will be able to carry 750 passengers at an average speed of 250 kilometers per hour with a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour. India plans to invest $19 billion in the new line. Japan will fund over $14 billion of the project, with a 0.1% interest loan to be repaid over the next 50 years. Analysts say constructing the bullet train will give a boost to infrastructure development in India's rapidly developing western industrial region and help with economic growth. Hyperloop full test run to take place in Vegas. Hyperloop One is planning to run the world's first full-size Hyperloop test within the next few months. Hyperloop One announced last week that it plans to execute a full test within the next three months at Apex Industrial Park in Las Vegas. According to a company spokesman, the test run will cover 500 linear meters. In May 2016, the company successfully tested its levitating electromagnetic motor on an open-air sled, reaching speeds of 116 miles per hour. The company said it is planning to have a full Hyperloop system ready to transport freight by 2020. The Hyperloop is based on the idea by Elon Musk of levitating pods powered by an electric propulsion system that would travel in near vacuum tubes at speeds of over 700 miles per hour. According to Musk's calculations, a Hyperloop trip from San Francisco to Los Angeles could be made in under 40 minutes. Hyperloop One says that after the full test run, it plans to extend the tube into a few kilometers. Elon Musk is now dabbling in boring machines. The man behind Tesla and SpaceX has set his sights on another venture, Boring. The goings-on behind Elon Musk's Boring Company were recently unveiled after a SpaceX employee shared a photo of the company's tunnel boring machine on Instagram. A boring machine excavates tunnels with a giant circular cutter head. The machine is designed to bore through anything from hard rock to sand. Elon Musk says he wants to build up to 30 levels of underground tunnels for cars and high-speed trains such as the Hyperloop. Musk has said his boring company would create a trillion jobs in the future. We certainly hope that's true. Musk bids to build Windy City Express Pods. Sick of sitting in Chicago traffic day in, day out? Elon Musk may be able to help out with that. Elon Musk's boring company has put in a bid to build an express transit link between O'Hare Airport and downtown Chicago. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel announced the city would be accepting proposals to build an express service from the airport to downtown last Wednesday. Musk tweeted the announcement, saying the boring company will compete to fund, build, and operate a high-speed loop connecting Chicago O'Hare Airport to downtown. The loop would be a system of tunnels underneath the city that would use electric pods rather than a vacuum tube like the Hyperloop concept. The proposed route would be less than 20 miles and would need to take less than 20 minutes. The Boring Company will need to present plans on design, finance, construction, operation and maintenance of the loop system. No taxpayer money will be made available for the project. Chinese firm aims to build high-speed rail in the U.S. China Railway International USA and Express West have announced plans for a joint venture to build a high-speed railway between Las Vegas and Los Angeles. The 230-mile high-speed railway will connect Las Vegas Victorville, Palmdale, and Los Angeles. The train would travel at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour, meaning passengers could travel from Las Vegas to Los Angeles in one hour and 20 minutes, compared to four hours by car. Express West, a venture set up by Las Vegas-based hotel and casino developer Marnell Companies, was unable to secure investment for the project from within the United States. It has formed a partnership with China Railway International USA, 
a consortium led by China Railway, which said the project had an initial capital of 100 million U.S. dollars. Maryland gives Elon Musk a nod to begin Hyperloop project. If you build it, they will ride it. Maryland officials have given Elon Musk's The Boring Company the green light to dig tunnels for a Hyperloop project between New York and Washington. The Boring Company plans to dig a 10.3-mile tunnel between the state-owned section of the Baltimore-Washington Parkway, between the Baltimore City Line and Maryland 175 in Hanover. The company has developed tunneling machines that can efficiently drill through soft soil at only a fraction of the cost of traditional tunneling. According to Musk's estimates, a Hyperloop trip between Washington and New York would only take 29 minutes. The Boring Company wants to construct two 35-mile tunnels between Baltimore and Washington. The 10-mile section approved by Maryland will be the first section of the underground system. Mexloop Hyperloop design could connect 42 million people. Need to get to Mexico City from Guadalajara in a hurry? Mexloop Hyperloop may be able to help out. Mexican consortium Mexloop is proposing a 330-mile Hyperloop system that would connect four cities in central Mexico, Mexico City, Coelatalo, León, and Guadalajara. The trip would take about 38 minutes compared to the current six hours it now takes to drive between the two cities. Stations would be located close to airports, rail freight hubs, and train stations in order to maximize transportation infrastructure efficiency. According to Mexloop, a Hyperloop system would only be two-thirds of the cost of a high-speed rail system. Mexloop's proposed system would provide a more efficient transportation system for 42 million people. The consortium also says building the Hyperloop would help boost the economy as well as ease traffic congestion. Hyperloop's next destination could be Indonesia. Indonesia could be the next country and perhaps the first in Southeast Asia to test a Hyperloop rapid transport system. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies has announced a 2.5 million US dollar feasibility study for three possible routes, including at least one to service Jakarta, which suffers extreme traffic congestion. A Hyperloop works by propelling a magnetically levitating passenger or cargo capsule through a depressurized tube. The low friction could enable it to exceed jetliner speeds. Hyperloop technology is perfectly suited to Indonesia, a country with a high population density, but underdeveloped transport infrastructure. The Hyperloop's capsule vehicle would accelerate to cruising speeds using a linear electrical motor, and the near vacuum tubes would enable traveling as fast as 760 miles per hour. The company says travel time on the 560-mile route between Jakarta and Yogyakarta could be slashed to 25 minutes. The frictionless motion enabled by magnetic levitation or air bearings would provide an exceptionally smooth ride, leaving passengers refreshed rather than exhausted by what might otherwise have been a long drive. The feasibility study will examine routes first in Sumatra, then Jakarta, and then other parts of Java. Dang, that's fast. Chinese researchers have developed the world's first testing platform for a new maglev train that can run at ultra-high speeds. China's super maglev train combines maglev technology and vacuum tube transport to run at speeds of 1,000 kilometers per hour, faster than narrow-body Boeing or Airbus jets. To test their prototype, scientists at Southwest Tong University in Chengdu constructed a test car in a 45-meter loop with a load capacity of up to one ton. The superconducting maglev system inside the loop allows the test car to be levitated 20 millimeters above the track. The team is currently conducting trials and aims to complete 400 km per hour runs within the year. They will still need to conduct 1,000 km per hour trial runs, tackle safety standards, and deal with high construction and maintenance costs before any super maglev trains can enter commercial service. Life in the Fast Lane Traffic in Colorado's capital city could get seriously faster in the next half decade. Headed by tech firm Arrivo, the Denver High Speed Traffic Tube project will first build a test track following the city's E-470 toll road. The system will see a variety of vehicles, both passenger and cargo using it. The technology uses a combination of magnetic levitation and electrics to propel cars at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. If successful, Arrival could potentially expand to connect with Denver's current transportation infrastructure. The company was founded by Hyperloop One co-founder and former SpaceX engineer, 
broken ben broken